Hi guys, today I am going to talk about the things to do to check the fault management in Windows Server 2012 R2. As you can see, the server manager is starting up. So, the server manager is a management console in this operating system that helps IT professionals provision and manage both local and remote Windows-based servers from their desktops. So to first check for faults in this OS, let us use the Windows PowerShell to check the disk for faults. So now let us use the check disk command. As you can see, it has identified that the type of the file system is NTFS and is running the check this command in read-only mode. Now, we can see that it is examining the basic file system structure. Stage 1's done! So now, you can see from the result in the stage 1 that it has identified the number of file records processed. For now, for the stage 2, it is now currently examining the file name linkages of the disk. So basically, fault management monitors the system errors to perform automated recovery process as well as to notify to prevent possible failure so as to make proactive remedy possible. These remedies may include scheduled backups. Stage 2 has identified the number of indexed and unindexed entries processed. So now, at stage 3, it is now examining the security descriptors. And finally, the checking of the disk is done and the windows did not find any problems such as bad sectors. So now, let us proceed to another type of checking for faults. Let's go back to the server manager and go to tools then Windows Server Backup Tool. As you can see, it is still reading the data, so let's just wait for it to finish. Now, let us try using the backup once option. And since this is just a tutorial, we'll just use the custom backup. Let us add the items from the local disk. Let's use the program files folder. Okay. Next, uh, let's also use the program data folder for the backup. Okay. <laughs> Thank you.